It has been a week since John Schnepp tragically passed away and I just wanted to share my story about the time I got to meet the guy. Uh, I've been watching John Schnepp on AMC Movie Talk and then what turned into Collider for many, many years now. And last year I went to Star Wars Celebration and I went to the uh, Star Wars Movie Trivia Schmodown panel which was awesome and I got to meet pretty much everyone from Collider there I met a uh, Christian and Mark and Dennis and Perry and David Griffin at the time uh, I think Copster um, Jeremy Johns uh, John Campia at the time and met everyone but I was real disappointed I didn't get to meet John Schnepp he wasn't there he stood at Collider he didn't go down the celebration and that was real sad because he's one of my favorite people there. But then fast forward to two months ago, back in May, we are going to Megacon in Orlando for my brother's birthday, May 25th. And John Schnepp had posted on Instagram that on that day he was having a booth at Megacon and the Collider Heroes panel. And I was like, oh my god, this is a chance. I gotta go meet this guy. I gotta go to his booth. And the problem was... I could not navigate that place to save my life. Even when people gave me directions, it was just gibberish. And Schnepp had posted that booth was on like number P72-46 something. And that place, if you've never been to one of these, it's enormous. And I was just, we walked for like an hour and a half, booth after booth after booth just trying to find Schnepp and his panel was like at 12 o'clock or something we're like no way we're gonna make it and we just gave up and we didn't find his booth and we're like we gotta go to the Collider Heroes panel we gotta start lining up and then same thing I don't know how to navigate the place I don't these things are overwhelming and I just I can't find it it was like room 203 and I'm like I don't know where that is we walked all over the place for like 30 minutes. Collider Hero started in like 10 minutes and I was beginning to lose hope and I was gonna be like, this is gonna be another year in a row where I don't get to meet this man. And we we're going up escalators, down escalators. We kept checking the time and it was just not looking good. And then we're going down an escalator, just giving up all hope and just like standing there. And then like, it was like I blinked and he was standing there like three feet in front of me, John Schnepp huge guy and just really kind of like tall and lanky and has crazy mad scientist hair and it was just awesome anyways he was just standing right there and I was like oh my god this is so strange and we're like oh my god we were like we've been looking for your booth forever we've been looking for your panel and he's like oh well I'm late to the panel he's like just follow me I think it's up this way and so we ended up following Schnepp and talking to him all the way to his panel and he couldn't find it either so i knew i wasn't alone in this place and then he ultimately found it we got in line which lasted like 30 seconds and then we just walked right in and then we attended the heroes panel which was just schnepp and this other girl that i wish i remembered her name but i'd never seen her before but it was schnepp and this one girl and his heroes panel was it was like a stand-up comedy show and if you want to classify it as a stand-up comedy show it's the funniest stand-up i've ever gotten to attend in my life it was incredible just getting to see this man talk because he would be so knowledgeable talking about like whatever he was talking about but then he would it was he would just be cracking you up and it was just the funniest stuff that he was saying and it was called heroes it was supposed to be collider heroes but it was really just one hour with Schnepp and his random thoughts like he would go on like one minute he was talking to us all about like seeing Infinity War recently then seeing Deadpool then he just started ranting about Florida and it's horrible weather and how he can't go outside for a cigarette break because it starts pouring on him so he goes back inside and then the rain stops and it's and the sun is out and then he started talking about porta potties and then talking about food and he was just going on these incredible random rants and tangents and I don't think he ever fully finished a point because he would be talking about some movie or talking about some comic book or something and he'd just go on some rant and then at one point he was talking about the CW shows and they started talking about Donald Trump and then he's like nah I'm not gonna go into politics here then he went he proceeded to go on like a 10 minute rant about Donald Trump after he says he's not going to go into politics and it was so funny 
and everyone was cracking up everyone was loving it and he cursed so much and it was just hilarious how much he cursed it was like watching like the wolf of wall street and goodfellas combined and then this lady had her kid there in a stroller and then he's just he was just like uh, every time he would curse he would look at her and like point to the kid and apologize for cursing and then he'd be like uh, he can't understand this anyways and then he'd keep cursing and it was so funny and so great and then we got to line up and ask him questions and i asked him a question about this alfred tv show just so i could hear him rant about the alfred tv show they were making and his rant was amazing and then my brother asked him about suspiria and the upcoming suspiria and his thoughts about that and just to like hear because suspiria is a movie i'd never heard of there's so many great movies that schnepp recommended because he was the thing about him unlike a lot of people on collider this isn't trying to you know jab at them but a lot of them are really big into like the superhero movies and the mainstream movies but they don't really like watch or search for like the indie or cold stuff that like most people do like alicia malone was someone on amc movie talk who was always someone to go to for cold stuff perry somewhat one of those people and schnepp was one of those people who was looking out for the indie filmmakers and like the artists and the people who were making smaller stuff and a lot of like horror and cult movies i got recommendations from him like stuff like martyrs and suspiria especially suspiria that's what we we're talking about i think he was wearing a suspiria shirt there but i got to see suspiria last year in the theaters and i probably would never have seen that movie or definitely would have taken way longer to see it if it wasn't for schnepp recommending it and so many great films he had such a great taste and he could talk about the giant comic book movies but then he could talk about these indie horror cult stuff which is the stuff that i love and it was just awesome and he was so knowledgeable but at the same time he was so hilarious and he cursed a ton it was great and it was just so cool that i didn't miss that panel because i thought i was going to and i just couldn't navigate that place i thought i was gonna miss i was gonna be so bummed and it was great that i got to see him at least that one time at megacon and then two months later just last week what happened happened and i was following it every hour throughout the week i was checking twitter to see if there was any updates and updates and there weren't any and then we heard that it was getting worse and worse and the craziest thing i found out about all this is that he was only 51 years old and i kind of always saw him as the old guy collider just because he was older than everyone i just like i didn't really think like he's only 51 that's still young I just like always thought of him as oh he's the one who's older than everyone else but uh like when I thought of like them in age terms but 51 is insane to lose your life at like he had so many projects in the works he had so much stuff I feel like he was just really starting like he was being a film pundit and everything he had been doing that for years but I feel like he was just starting to like get projects off the ground he just like three years ago had death the superman lives what happened an incredible documentary and then he had his segment in, in the abc's of death and he had metalocalypse but he i feel like he was going to start making so much more and he was talking about that he was always talking about all the stuff he had coming up and he was making the slayer comics and he was only 51 i feel like he had so much more to offer and so much more art to give us and it's just insane that that happened it's still unbelievable because i stopped watching collider about a year ago but like mainly for like the main show and everything but i still tuned in for three things in particular one was for jedi council because i love christian harloff the other was for heroes because i love schnepp and then obviously the movie trivia schmodown schnepp and harloff were the two people who really kept me viewing their stuff and it's just insane after watching heroes week after week and i'm not even a big comic book guy that just speaks to like how great he was as a host because i'm not a big comic book guy but i would watch heroes every week just because he was so great and so like interesting and fascinating to listen to but also at the same time so hilarious and weird he's one of the weirdest people on uh in this space which is awesome that's a good thing and uh it's just completely tragic what happened but i just want to share my story of the time i got to meet him two months ago and i'm so glad i did now knowing especially knowing what happened last week that i got at least that one last time and we all got to talk and, and like have sort of a meet and greet after the panel and everything and i wish i took a picture but i was uh talking and it just didn't come up to take a picture but uh definitely 
something I cherish definitely like a moment that I'm glad I was able to randomly run into him while searching for the past two hours for him and it's definitely a memory I'll keep forever. Thank you for watching and check out the Collider. They made like a tribute to him on Movie Talk and I think it was just fantastic. They had everyone. They even had uh, his fiance Holly and they had just everyone throughout Collider and everyone in this space come and talk to him and I thought it was fantastic. So check that out uh, for John Schnepp.